In this tutorial, you will learn how to make a LoRa based IoT smart agriculture monitoring and automatic irrigation system using ESP8266 Node MCU, Arduino Nano, and the Blink 2.0 IoT platform. Here on the sensor node, we will use the Arduino Nano board and SX1278 LoRa trans receiver module. Then we will interface multiple sensors like capacitive soil moisture sensor to measure the quantity of water present in the soil. DS18B20 waterproof temperature sensor to measure the temperature of the soil. And in the cold season, the plants die due to the fog and low temperature. So, DST11 or DST22 temperature and humidity sensor is used to measure the temperature and humidity of the surroundings. A 5 volt single channel relay module and water pump are used for automatic irrigation system. Previously, I had made an IoT smart agriculture monitoring and irrigation system, but the area where I was working does not have Wi Fi signals, and my home is around 700 to 800 meters away from the agricultural feed. So, I could not receive any Wi Fi signals there. Hence, I cannot monitor the data and control the device over the internet. As said, when there is a will, there is a way. I found this SX1278 LoRa trans receiver module lying around. So, I decided to use the Arduino Nano capacitive soil moisture sensor, DST22 temperature and humidity sensor, DS18B20 temperature sensor, a 5 volt relay module, and a DC water pump on transmitter side. This LoRa transmitter module will send the parameters like relative humidity of the soil, soil temperature, relative humidity, and temperature of surroundings wirelessly to the LoRa receiver. And on the receiver side, I have connected the LoRa module to the Node MCU ESP8266 Wi Fi module because it has built in Wi Fi chip so that LoRa receives the data and the ESP8266 board. Upload these parameters to the Internet of Things server. As people suggested me on the previous project, I decided to use the new Blink 2.0 IoT platform. Here I can monitor those data from anywhere in the world from the web dashboard as well as a mobile application. At last, I decided to use this small 0.96 inch SSD 1306 I2C OLED display to monitor soil moisture soil temperature, relative humidity, and temperature locally on the receiver side. In order to make this project, we need the following components. We need Arduino Nano, SX1278 LoRa trans receiver module, Node MCU ESP8266 development board, a capacitive soil moisture sensor, DS18B20 waterproof temperature sensor, DST22 temperature and humidity sensor, 0.96 inch I2C OLED display, 5 volt single channel relay module, a 5 volt DC water pump. The motor is used for drawing the water from the inlet and throwing the water through outlet. A pipe can be connected to it. LoRa frequency is not legal everywhere. I am from Nepal and here is no regulation for LoRa frequency range. But in countries like India, frequency range is 865 MHz to 867 MHz. This LoRa module has a frequency of 433 MHz, so you are not allowed to use it for an extended time aside for a academic purpose. This is a LoRa transmitter circuit diagram. You can use this connection table to assemble the components easily. Similarly, this is a LoRa receiver circuit diagram. You can also easily assemble the components using the following connection table. This video is sponsored by PCBWay. PCBWay is the place that brings the manufacturers and customers together. They have more than the decade of experience in the field of fabrication and prototyping and assembling of PCBs. PCB way have proved their focus on their customer need in terms of cost effectiveness, delivery, and quality. And this can be proved by their outstanding customer reviews.
To remove this messy wiring and give a clean look, I have designed a custom prototype PCB for this project. To order this PCB from PCBWay.com, go to the Instant Code tab and then click on the Quick Order PCB. Now click on the Add Garbar file. You can download this Garbar file from the website link provided in the description. After uploading the Garbar file, you can always choose the layers, your thickness, shoulder max, and assembly service if required. Now select your country location and then select your preferred shipping method. After that, you can place your quick order and within a week, you will receive your high quality prototype PCB. Now it's time to set up Blink 2.0 IoT Cloud Dashboard. So first of all, go to the Blink.cloud, then sign in using your credential. If you don't have an account, you have to click on create an account and provide the necessary details and follow the instruction to create a new account. In Blink 2.0 platform, we need to create a template. A template is a project in which we can create a web and mobile dashboard for specific hardware. In our case, it's an agriculture monitoring and automatic irrigation system. And for creating a project, first you have to click on the add new template and then enter a template name. I am giving it a smart agro. Select the hardware board as ESP8266 and set the connection type as Wi-Fi. You can add the description of your project if required and then click on done. Now the template is created successfully. Here are two important things that you should remember. One is template ID and another one is device name which is required in the time of programming. Now let's create a Blink data stream. A data stream is like a pipeline or a channel. The data will be sent or received through these data channels. In a single project or a template, there can be a multiple data stream. And in our project, we are receiving five data. Soil moisture, soil temperature, humidity and temperature of surroundings, and water pump status. So in this project, we have created five data streams. Now you have to keep the name for every data stream. You have to choose the virtual pins for data stream, for soil moisture, soil temperature, temperature and humidity, and water pump status. I choose virtual pins B1, B2, B3, B4, and B5 respectively. I have chosen the data type as double for soil moisture and soil temperature, but an integer type for temperature, humidity, and water pump status because they don't have floating point precision. You also need to set the unit for data stream as per the variable. And I choose the degree centigrade for the soil temperature and air temperature, then the percentage for soil moisture and humidity. I have also set the minimum and maximum values for the data stream. Now let's move on to the events tab. Events are used for notification alert system. So here I am creating an events to monitor the soil moisture value. If the relative humidity of soil reaches below the threshold value, event is triggered and the notification is sent to your mobile phone. So to create an event, click on add event, enter the event name. For me, it's what are your plants. Choose your event color. I am selecting red. Select the type of event. I am choosing as critical. And enter the description of your event. Now go to the notification tab and then enable the notification. Then select the push notification to device owner and set the time interval to every one minute and then finally click on save. So we have successfully created our first events. After that move on to the web dashboard. In this section you will be able to see some widgets for making some cool looking web dashboard. But all the widgets are not free for showing soil moisture, soil temperature, temperature and humidity of surroundings I will choose four gauges. For water pump indication, I will use LED widget. But you can choose any widget according to your need and requirement. Now change the setting of the label. In the settings, you have to give the name to the widget and you have to choose the data stream with which the widget will be connected. After setting up the widget, click on the save button and save the entire project. That's all for setting up the Blink 2.0 IoT dashboard. We will set up the Blink 2.0 mobile dashboard after uploading the program code.
In order to compile and upload these transmitter and receiver program code on the respective boards, you need to install these libraries in your Arduino IDE. After installing all the required library files, you can upload the code provided below on the transmitter module. Here on the transmitter side, we are using Arduino Nano board. So select the correct board and its COM port from the tools menu. In the LoRa receiver program part, go to the files, examples, bling, bling.adzen and esp8266 underscore adzen. Just copy the code provided below and paste it into the Arduino IDE page. Do not make any changes to other files. You just need to replace your Blink template ID and Blink device name which are available in the Blink template. Simply after making necessary changes, upload the code to your Node MCU 2LE board. Now it's time to download the Blink application into your mobile phone. After installing the application, log in into your account and turn on the developer mode. Click on add new device. Click on a ready button. Choose the Wi-Fi which is created by Node MCU. Give the Wi-Fi credential of your router which you want to connect to the Node MCU and then click on continue. Now the board will connect to the router if the given Wi-Fi credential are true. Now click on continue, here provide your device name and again click on continue. Select your template and then click on done. Click on finish and exit. So that's all for the mobile dashboard setup. Now you can see the data of the Blink device into your mobile app and in the web dashboard as well. To reconfigure the Wi-Fi credentials on your new Blink IoT platform, you don't have to hard code your device. Under the device settings, choose the reconfigure device option to reconfigure your device using a new Wi-Fi credential. Alternately, you can also press the flash button on the Node MCU for 10 seconds to erase the Wi-Fi credential from EEPROM. Then you can reconfigure the Wi-Fi credentials again by adding it as a new device. You can also monitor those data through the serial monitor. For that you need to connect the both boards to your PC and select their respective COM port. Open the serial monitor at the baud rate of 11.5200. Here you can see the real-time data transmitted and received through the LoRa module. So I have powered the complete system. On the receiver node, this little OLED display displays the relative humidity of the soil, soil temperature, air temperature and relative humidity of the air. Whereas in the Blink application, you can see the soil moisture sensor reading, you can see the temperature of the soil and air and similarly relative humidity of air. Then you will find the LED starters for water pump. First of all, let me test the soil moisture sensor. Here I am taking a cup of water to test the soil moisture sensor and let me dip this sensor inside the water. So you can see the reading increasing. So when I remove the sensor from the water, you can see the percentage decreasing. As the soil moisture decreases, the relay is turned on automatically and you can see the water pump LED glowing on the blink app. At the same time, you will receive a notification on your mobile phone. Similarly, you can monitor those all parameters from anywhere in the world using new Blink 2.0 IoT platform, either using the mobile dashboard or web dashboard. So friends, I hope you like this project. If yes, then do hit that like button, share this video with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more such videos.